Hey guys. Now, I own this sub, right? It's 300 watts RMS, and it's supposed to make bass, not this hideous, horrible, weird buzzing sound. I mean, just listen to that, that's just outrageous. What the hell? And I know it's coming from the speaker because because I tested the amp that's running this on another speaker and it sounded just fine, so, so there's definitely something wrong with this speaker. <laughs> so we're just going to take this apart and see what we can do. So as you can see, I just removed the speaker from the cabinet. Uh, everything looks normal, although it does feel a bit odd, like there's some... No, yeah, you're, yeah, no, there's definitely something weird going on. And yeah, I mean, the sound is definitely... Definitely coming from the speaker, not from the box. Oh, God. Oh, by the way, all these pieces of wood, that's just um, internal bracing I added. It helps a lot with the uh, flexing, you know, it keeps the box nice and solid so you don't get any uh, nasty uh, vibration sounds coming from the box. So I think I'm just going to try and remove this dust cap. We'll see if um, we can spot anything unusual. Okay, so I managed to get the dust cap off of it, and now we can see the voice coil. Now this looks like a uh, three-inch voice coil, and guess what? The sound's gone. Oh. Now this is interesting. If it's sitting facing up, it doesn't seem to be making any nasty sounds, but if I start lifting it up, depending See, depending on how it's oriented, seems to be, see, seems to be making different sounds. So this is obviously the voice coil rubbing against the metal. Yeah. If it's really bad, you're just basically going to have to get a repair kit and replace the voice coil and the cone. But obviously if that's more expensive than the actual woofer to begin with, then it's not worth it really, because I mean this this woofer is just was, was just ridiculously cheap. So you can't really expect it to perform as well as a uh, high-end professional subwoofer. Now the reason the voice call is rubbing against the magnet is probably because a piece of shit or something got stuck inside that um, gap. So I'm just going to try and uh, blow it out with, the, um, with some compressed air and see if that makes a difference. It is still making some noise, but it's not nearly as bad as it used to be, so, see. Probably still something inside that gap. Yeah. Then another thing you could try, uh, you know, I'm just going to try and kind of bend it, sort of, so. Yeah, God. The idea is to recenter the voice coil, but I mean, realistically, the best way to deal with this problem would be to re replace the whole voice coil and cone, but obviously I'm not gonna do that. You know, I'm just gonna try and uh, see if I can slide this piece of paper between the... Uh... It seems to fit, so... Maybe this will kind of recenter everything, I don't know. You know what, that isn't too bad. You can still hear it, obviously, but that's pretty much normal for, a, for any woofer. I mean, there's at least half an inch of excursion right there, so you always are going to get some noise. If ever this happens to you, just kind of mess with it, you know, just kind of um, see if you can bend it somehow or try and fit a piece of paper between the gap. And if it doesn't fit, then obviously that means you, you are definitely going to need to recone the whole thing and buy a replacement kit. But if it does fit and it's, you know, still kind of making those noises, just try and just kind of 
Yeah. Blow some air in it, try and get the crap out of the the, of the gap, and, and yeah, just you know, just mess around with it and see what you can do, and try and do what you can really. And then obviously we are going to need to re glue this in place, or else then, or else it is going to sound terrible once it's in the enclosure. Yeah, but yeah, on the whole, it is does seem to have uh, <laughs> done something. So I'm going to re glue this uh, just with wood glue. All right, and just before you glue it on, just give it one last quick blow to make sure there's really nothing in there obviously this isn't the best way to do it but you know we're just trying to do what we can I'm just gonna apply another layer of glue this is gonna act like a, a resin to seal off any holes or any leaks I probably wouldn't recommend doing this on a higher frequency speakers, but since this is a, a woofer and it's already quite heavy, I don't think a little extra glue will make a huge difference in terms of weight, but maybe, I don't know. Either way, it's going to sound better than it used to, so I'm just going to go with this. Okay, so I'll just leave it to dry for a couple of hours and uh, then we'll see what it sounds like, so I'll see you then. Okay, so it's been about 12 hours. And look at that. It looks great. Yeah, it definitely sounds a lot better than it used to. It's not making that horrible buzzing sound anymore. So yeah, just going to put it back in the box and see what it sounds like. I'm not going to turn it up all the way because then it'll just sound bad on the microphone. But as you can hear... No buzzing sound. So I'm quite happy with that. So my guess is that something got stuck between the voice coil and the magnet, uh, just causing the uh, voice coil to rub against the magnet, making that horrible buzzing sound. But now that we've kind of rem tried to remove whatever was in there with, you know, compressed air or, uh, or even a little piece of paper, we somehow managed to get whatever was stuck in there out of the gap. So yeah, it sounds fine now. Again, this isn't the best way to do it, but at the end of the day, if your speaker starts sounding like what mine sounded like yesterday, I mean, I was going to throw it out, so you've got nothing to lose, really. Just take the dust cap off, try and move stuff around if you can, and hopefully get it to work again. But obviously, I mean, this sub, I'm not going to take to big shows or anything anymore, because it's not reliable anymore, but I'm just going to... I'll just probably keep it in the garage to listen to some music. Yeah, and that's it, so thanks for watching.